Broadcasting live worldwide. You ever get frustrated? You ever say to yourself, everything's going so well, and then you <laughs> get hammered with something that you just don't expect? You know, you can't always expect the unexpected because things will happen. Things can happen. But here's the tricky part of this whole thing. When the unexpected arrives, how do you deal with that? Do you get more in touch with your faith? Do you pray to God more than you already do? Do you pray to God when you haven't prayed to God at all? Do you get frustrated to the point where you're upset with God? Do you yell at God? Do you walk away from God? You hear all these things that are happening? That's what we're going to talk about today. Have faith, let it begin. Tuesday edition. I may be a little sick, but not sick enough to do this episode. Starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel. Can you say, have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say, have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah! Noah! Happy birthday, Noah! Oh, Oh, amazing. Give us your dozen something. Noah. Have faith, let it begin. When it starts right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. On this Tuesday, July 11th, 2023, got a couple things to announce to you. Um, We will be uh, doing another performance, another service at my church. Um, It is an outdoor service, July 23rd. That's a Sunday, of course, at 10 a.m. It will not be broadcasted live um, on this platform. You will hear the version on a Monday. Uh, or Tuesday, depending on when Ian Ellie and I record. But if you're a TikTok fan, we are able to do a TikTok live version that day and a special Zoom edition for Half Faith Let It Begin fans only. So keep in mind and write to me, angel at halffaithletitbegin.com, and I will give you the Zoom link. All right, now that that's all out of the way, expecting the unexpected. Can you do that? Can we expect the unexpected? Things happen. Things occur that we just can't control. I didn't know I was going to be sick after I got back from vacation. I didn't know that people in my life were going to come and go. I didn't know that people in my you know, uh, inner circle of friendships were going to end up in the hospital. I didn't know that people that I work with We're going to have emergency situations where they are not able to attend work because they have to attend, obviously, their family for a huge medical condition, only to find out that their frustrations with God have heightened to the point where they just don't want to pray because they're frustrated. I've been there. I think we've all been there to a certain extent. We have all, at one point in our lives, have gotten so frustrated that we didn't know where to turn to. I know I can speak for myself when I tell you that I have yelled toward God, not at God, but I've yelled toward him. And I've said, hey, enough is enough. I can take this anymore. I'm getting hit from all angles. You just got, I need your help. I feel like I can yell at God sometimes. Because I have that relationship with him. Because I know he's yelled at me. Not yelled at me the way I yell at him. But I know he said to me, Hey, I've given you this gift. You have this talent. Why aren't you using it? We quite often find ourselves blaming him. For things that are happening in our life. We wonder sometimes. If he's upstairs. Picking names. And our name gets picked a lot. And all of a sudden you're like. Well here we go again. It's my turn again. That's the story of my life. Or oh this always happens to me. 
Well, well, everything's going well. Why wouldn't it happen to me? I've been there. I know how that feels. But let me tell you what I do when things happen. And don't take just my word for it. You've heard Ian Ellie, Dr. Ian Ellie tell you. You would never sometimes even know that things are happening to me because I continue to keep the positivity. I try to find the positive in everything. That doesn't mean that I don't get frustrated. That doesn't mean that I don't sit back and shed a tear or shed or have some concerns or ponder the thought, am I being chosen for this for a reason? Is there a lesson to be learned from this cloud that's over me? Yeah. But again, I try to find that positive in the negative. Because let's be honest, no matter how bad things do get, don't we end up on the right side later on? One way or another, the good comes out. The good always prevails. So here's a fun fact. I remember, I remember, you know, listening to that episode on Friday, uh, the crazy date story. And I remember how I felt on almost every one of those dates. I remember how it felt to feel as if I didn't matter. I felt ugly. I felt insecure. I felt sad. I had many friends that I had many crushes on. I had many girls that I tried my darndest to take out and they just weren't interested. And yeah, it hurt. But there were reasons behind all that. And even though in my 20s, at times I couldn't understand it, I knew there was a reason. So I just moved forward. But I never stopped thinking or never, actually, let me rephrase that. I've never started to think or wonder if God was truly not on my side. Because I knew God always had my best interest at hand. So I'm telling you this. If you're in a struggle, if you're in that spot where the unexpected has occurred or is occurring, do not allow God to be your enemy. Do not allow God to be your distraction because God is not your enemy. God is your heavenly father and fathers protect their children. God is your ally and allies protect their own. God loves you. God believes in you. God trusts you. Those are not just catchphrases. Those are real, real words. And I want you to take them in. So if you are not driving this morning, I want you to close your eyes right now and just hear those words. God loves you. God believes in you. God trusts you. And God is never going to leave your side. Trust in him. Put your faith and your belief that all things, all things are possible with God. Lay out your hands and say the following. God, I know you're with me, but I know that in times I struggle and when I struggle, we struggle. Please help me, Lord. Please guide me, Lord. Please understand, Lord, that I do not blame you. I need you. Pray that today. Be in his, in his comfort. Share in his joy. And remember that God is always next to you. Enjoy your Tuesday and may God be with you.
may he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth and never forget have faith let it begin thank you for listening to another episode of have faith let it begin that's right Ariel we're done with another show and it's always great to have this show with you man love You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. <laughs>